What's going on, everybody? V-Line here, and welcome back to another episode of Kerbal Space Program. We are going to spend some science. I've decided that I have a really cool way to gain lots of science super easy, and we have all the parts we need for it. Uh, what we need is just to pick up aviation. And what that's going to give us is some landing gears, which we can use as wheels, and we're going to just make... A little science over to go around the Kerbal Space Center and pick up a lot of science because there is a lot of science to be had. Let's just see when do we get regular wheels? We get smaller landing gears here. Just gonna check where I can pick up some actual wheels that run on electricity. Let's see, those are monopropellant. Probably way down the line. There's some science there. Go down. Let's see. So yeah, not not for a while. I think over maybe over here. Right. Well, here are here are some wheels in advanced motors and yeah, and in field science. So our wheels are way over here. So we need to research a lot in order to get that. But what we should also pick up is basic science, and that's going to give us access to some battery power, which is which we're definitely going to need if we want uh, a rover. And we also want to try and pick up the photovoltaic cells as early as possible, or else our power is just going to run out very quickly. But what we're going to do first is we're going to go to the vehicle, uh, some, sorry, not the vehicle assembly building, the space plane hangar. We're gonna start off, we we want an easy contraption to get out of, so we're gonna just get a command pod. Obviously, we're gonna stick our favorite boy, we're gonna stick our favorite boy, Bob, in there. And let's go back to parts, let's call this, let's call this uh, uh, KSC collector. We'll enter a description later. We're gonna need, if, because we don't have any, any electricity yet, first of all we're gonna need some fuel tanks. Let's see, how big is that? That That's just, that just has liquid fuel. That actually might not be a bad idea. Hold on, that has liquid fuel 50, that has liquid fuel 400. Actually, we don't need a lot of liquid fuel, come to think about it. We, we, that has liquid fuel and oxidizer 90, 110. We can actually just get that and get an air intake. And that has... Where are all our air intakes? We have that. Should be some more. Maybe not. Do a quick look around. Alright, so that air, air intake fits pretty well on the front. So we're going to have that. Obviously, we need landing gears. I'm gonna stick. We all. We also want it in symmetry mode. Obviously, we want these more down if possible. Oh no! And we can use the the WASD keys in order to just tweak them a bit. All right, managed to place the wheels. Let's add the front landing gear. We don't want this in symmetry mode. We just want this in the front. All right. We want a super, super, super small engine there. Oh, we don't have anything. All right, well, we'll 
put on this swivel and turn the thrust way down. Yeah, like 5%. I'm just going to check real quick. Maybe there is at least another engine that I can pick up. Let's see, any any cheaper engines? Ooh, actually that, that is perfect. And also that fuel tank might be just what I need. So I'm gonna go back out here, back to the space plane hangar. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna scrap this bit right here. We're gonna change the engine, sorry, the fuel tank. We have liquid fuselage. Fuel, liquid fuel that at there's that, and then there's this that's smaller. So I think that's 2.5 times that's the same amount. Let's just switch this with this. We'll turn the oxidizer down all the way because we don't need oxidizer since we're going to be in atmosphere. Basically. You have liquid fuel, you have solid fuel and liquid fuel. So solid fuel is for boost rockets, and you just need solid fuel to run it. You just need a solid booster engine to run it. And you have liquid fuel, which you can have oxidizer to mix along with it, which lets it work in a vacuum. Or if you're making a, a plane, you can have it without oxidizer and just put some air intakes in there like this one. So because we have an air intake, we don't really need that. So, let's see. I think we can delete this. And we will put some wheels on in just a moment. Let's see, engine. We definitely want this engine. Turn the thrust down. 10%. All right. All right. What does this do? Doesn't want to tell me. Never mind. All right. So we want some of these. All right, and oh. Put it way down. No, we want we want the wheels again. Get some way in the back. Does that look good? That looks pretty good. Now we want to stick on. First of all, stick on a couple battery packs because we don't have access to solar yet. You can press Alt when you're dragging, when you're clicking on something in order to copy it. That's a very important lesson. All right, now let's see. We don't need any parachutes at the moment. We definitely want some science. Oh, yes, that's, that is actually pretty important. The science junior, new type of science. Stick that on there. We want, want this. Goo canister, we want Barometric pressure. We want thermometer. All right. Now let's make sure Bob is in there. Bob's in there. All right, let's save that. Time to see what we can learn around the base. Save that and launch. Now, you have to be really careful with this. Oh, see, my, uh, my wheels are a bit not well aligned, but still, you have to be very careful with this. And just ease it in, hold on. We need to, yeah. Just press shift a little bit. And then the brakes are off. And first of all, actually, no thrust, turn on the brakes. 
and then let's have Bob get out. He can board. All right, we've got an EVA report, crew report, material study, pod, atmosphere. We got everything. Lots of science. If, in fact, if we take a look right now, we got 2.4, 1.5, 7.5, 3.5, 3.6, another 2.4. So all this is really, really good. But that's just from the runway. So we can actually turn off our brakes and just go slowly. You want to have your finger on the brakes for this just because if you go too fast, in fact, I think I can I can show you. So let's just break. Quick save. And let me show you what happens if you're not careful with accelerating. Ah, I think we have a problem. We need a bit of oxidizer. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to recover this vessel. Twenty-two science, not bad, just for sticking myself on the runway. In fact, let's go to the launch pad and see, actually maybe we can go to the vehicle assembly building and plant that thing, open it up, open up the KSC collector, load. Obviously, again, put Bob there as our default. Save it, launch. All right, and quickly get out board should have some stored data good and now see nothing's happening the problem is is that we don't have any oxidizer at all so we can't actually go forward I thought we were gonna get enough air but it's just not working so that's fine actually you know why I know why, because a, I, I forgot, a liquid fuel engine will only use liquid fuel with oxidizer. It, it can't use anything else. It can't like use a liquid fuel and intake air. So that's just, we can still roll off and then break and then see what we can do. So first of all, let's go out. Are we still on the runway? We'll know when we're still on the runway. think. All right, let's EVA. No, we're still on the runway, technically. Sorry, not runway, launch pad. Get those two confused. And that's why you don't use time acceleration. Let's uh, revert flight back to vehicle assembly. All right, let's uh, put in some oxidizer. Save and launch that. All right, there we go. Now we're going forward ever so slowly because we have the thrust limiter on. Now that we're actually cruising at about four meters per second, we can turn that off and just roll with it. And break. All right. So apparently this flagpole is still part of the launch pad. Let's keep going. All right, I'm going to just collect a bunch of signs from around here and just speed up the video and you guys can check it out.
All right, look at that. We already have 25 pieces of science. And each each bit of science is about, let's see. First of all, material study is worth 7.5. Crew report, 1.5. That's already 9. Mystery goo is worth 3. That's already 12. Atmospheric pressure is worth 3.6. That's 15. And uh, temperature scan is 2.4. That's already, like, we're already in 17s or 18s even. Uh, let's see, EVA. And EVA is another 2.4. You get over 20 signs per. And you can do it in each section of the space center, which is really awesome. How much battery power do we have right now? Let's see. Electric charge, we're still good. We, we put in a lot, a lot of that. All right, let's see here. Do we have anything from here? Yeah, all right, we already did the VAB. We should do maybe the crawlway. Oh, good, we even left the, <laughs> the, the surface for just a minute, so we got a material study from flying above. Okay, so we managed to get science from pretty much everywhere, uh, every available section at the moment in the Kerbal Space Center. And I was thinking, I don't think I've ever checked out this little obelisk right here. I think we should do that. Let, let's go ahead and do that, shall we? Just zoom back in. And I will be right back when I get close enough. But first of all, first of all, Quick save. Okay, it looks like we're right at the obelisk. Let's slow down, slow down. Little Easter egg, you see the developers logos right there. Is this is there any way to like get science from this? Maybe if I touch it with my with my little collector. Slow down just a bit. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's any extra science you can get from it, but still, it's a nice little little Easter egg right there. Okay, now, I'm wondering if I should, uh, let's see. If I, first of all, turn on my brakes. If I quick save and then recover the vessel, how much money do I get back? Art. Yeah, we got 100% back because we're close enough, but look at that. We got 270 science for a total of 292 science. That is incredible. And the more we upgrade our space center, the more science we're able to we're going to be able to collect from all the different biomes in it. All right. No XP for you, Bob. All right. Look at that. 292 science. I say it's time to spend some of that science. Let's see. We don't need that to get to orbit just yet. Those also aren't necessary. Those could be useful, but still not needed. Flight control could be good. 
Let's see. I think we have everything we need in order to get to space, in order to get to orbit, except I do want to pick up some photovoltaic cells. And also I want to pick up some flight control. All right, anything else? No. No. You won't let me get this? I already have electrics, though. Oh, uh, no, wait. Why won't you let me get that? That makes no sense. All right. Ooh, fuel systems are incredibly good. All right, let's get that and that. Okay, so I think I'm going to close the episode here. Really, really simple episode, just showing how you can get a bunch of science from just strolling around the KSC. And that should help you boost up your science level in order to get all the stuff you need to launch yourself into space. So thank you all for watching. My name is V-Line. Don't forget to click that like button, click that subscribe button, click that bell notification icon, and leave a comment down below, and I will see you all next time.